Weather's invigorating. You know, it gives me so much energy. Uh, it makes me hungry. <laughs> makes me want to go into hibernation. <laughs> oh, snappy. Hey, you know what? It is time for pumpkin pies. Mm. Be still, my heart. You like pumpkin pies. Oh, they're my favorite. Mm. So, Snappy, where was I? Oh, you were up to a very painful number <laughs> 10. Thanks. See, if we didn't have math, I wouldn't know where I was. Oh, but, Robbie, you're in the garage. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Back to work. 11, 12, 13, what? Hey, you, 14, come here. 15, 16, come here. 16, 17, I just thought of something 18, really fun to do 19, for Robbie. 20, oh, yeah, we could run her a hot bath. No, 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 Snappy, that's not what I meant. She's counting. She's not going to go over her limit. What I meant was she really likes pumpkin pie. Pumpkin pie? Oh, sorry, I forgot. Pumpkin pie? There's just one problem. What? Do you know how to make a pumpkin pie? Mm, well, I don't know very much about cooking, but one of the ingredients must be, hmm, pumpkin! Oh, sorry. Yes, pumpkin. Good thinking, Snappy. Glad to oblige. Hey, I bet I know where we could get that ingredient. Where? Trust me. Hmm. <laughs> Here we are at Goldbrook Pumpkin Farm. In Lula, Georgia. Lula. Lula, Lula, lay out. Oh, you know what? We got a new friend here. Yep. Snappy dresser, huh? Yes. Check out the hat. Mm -hmm. Hey, they got a gazillion pumpkins here, you know. Blossom, I told you a gazillion is it's not, not a, a real, real number. number. I know, but they have so many pumpkins. That's true. They have a lot of pumpkins. Yeah. And you know what else they have? What? Look down there. <gasps> what are those? Those are gourds. Gourds? Gourds. Wow, let's go check them out. Okay. You want to come with us, buddy? Hmm. Strong, silent type. Yeah. Hmm. Here we go. <coughs> let's see. I get all the green and yellow gourds. Mm -hmm. I get all the green stripey ones. Oh, here's a green stripey one uh, for you. Digit, I could really use a hand here. 
No, no, Digit, that's a tail. I need a hand. Oh, thank you. Green stripey ones, please. Mm-hmm. There's another one. Good job. There we have it. Two separate sets of gourds. Yep. What are you going to call your set? Oh, I am going to call my set the set of green and yellow gourds. I'm going to call mine the green stripey set. Oh, boy. Hmm. You know, now that we have them sorted this way, I bet there are other ways I could sort my set of gourds. Like what? Well, I have some gourds that have long necks and some that have short necks. So I could have the set of long-necked gourds and the set of short-necked gourds. Oh, well, I get it. That's fun. I, why, look, I could separate mine by smooth gourds and bumpy gourds. I could have two uh, sets like that, a well, smooth set and a bumpy set. All of my gourds are smooth. Hmm. Well, I could do uh, big and little. Oh, I could do that, too. Then oh I'd have the boy. set of big green and yellow gourds and the set of little green and yellow gourds. Oh, we could just sort, 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 sort all day. <sighs> but, Blossom. What? We're supposed to go ride the tractor into the pumpkin <gasps> field. Well, time's a-wasting. Let's go. Oh, Blossom. First, we need to put away our gourds. That's right. We need to be good neighbors. That's hmm? right. Where's that gourd neighbors? Hmm. Uh. To the pumpkin field! Wagons ho! Wahoo! Oh, this is great! Oh boy, that was fun! You bet! Now let's hop off and go find ourselves a couple of 20 pounders! Okay! Woo -hoo! Here are two pumpkins that weigh approximately 20 pounds each. Yes, but look, they're both very different sizes and shapes. That's true. Hey, Snappy, hmm? let's find out the circumference of each pumpkin. What's circumference mean? That means how big around it is. Oh. You know, how many inches around the outside. Oh. I'm going to measure mine with this ruler. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Blossom, what? I don't think that's the mm -hmm. right tool. The ruler's flat. And the pumpkin is a sphere. Well, almost. You're right. Well, can you think of a better tool to use? Well, I have a tape measure right here. <gasps> It'll probably work better than that ruler. You're right, Snappy. I'll come give you a hand. Okay. <laughs> Why, look at that, Snappy. Well, this pumpkin is 35 and a half inches in circumference. Hey, let's go see if the other one is bigger or smaller. Okay. Oh, I'll get the tape. Hmm. Hey, look, Snappy. This one's 33 inches around. Well, so even though these two pumpkins weigh about the same, uh, their circumferences are different. That's right. This one's not as big around as the other hmm. one. Hmm. Hey, Snappy. What? You know what other kind of measuring tool you need when you're dealing with pumpkins? No, what? A calendar. Oh. You know why? No, why? You gotta know when to plant your oh. pumpkins. Because oh. you have to plant a pumpkin kind of in the middle of May. That's when the days are getting longer, so the sun is up for longer and longer periods during the day, and pumpkins love the sun so ooh, they ooh. can grow. I know something about pumpkin plants. Really? Yeah, it takes about two weeks for the seeds to sprout. That's right, and then it takes three or maybe four months for the pumpkin to get big enough to pick. Yep. Hmm. Speaking of big ones, mm -hmm. how many pies do you think we could make out of this one? Ooh. Mm. Mm. Blossom, I had a great time at the Goldbrook Pumpkin Farm. How about you? I did too, Snappy. You know what my favorite part was? No, what? I love sorting gourds. That was wonderful. Yeah, that was fun. Oh, I love the tractor ride. <gasps> yes, into the field. Boy, did we ever learn a lot about how pumpkins grow. We sure did. Yeah, and Snappy, you know what? What? You know what the best part was? What? Look at all these pumpkins we got. Yeah, yeah. that's great. Hmm. I wonder how many pumpkins are here. Hmm. I'd estimate, um, hmm. 150. I think that's a good estimation. Hmm. Hey, Snappy. Hmm? How many pies do you think we could make with all these pumpkins? Pies? Hmm. Hmm. Hey, 
snappy. Hmm? Tiptoe through the pumpkins. Through the pumpkins with me. And, and where, where you go, go that's, that's where I'll go. Through the pumpkins with me. Blossom, where'd she go? Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, hello. Where did uh, these come from? Fall, fell. Yeah. <laughs> and I can tell. So, what are you going to do with them? Um, oh, we're going to make you a pie. <laughs> a, a, a pile of pumpkins. Nice save. <laughs> well, it looks like you've already been sorting. Mm -hmm. Here you have all the small pumpkins. And here are the medium-sized ones. And Oh, look at that big one. Yeah, yeah this would make a really big pie. <laughs> You know, Snappy, the size of the pie is not related to the size of the pumpkin. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you only use so much pumpkin per pie. In fact, mm. I think it's one and one half standard measuring cups of pumpkin per pie. Mm. Let's see, I've got a recipe book <gasps> around here somewhere. Oh, here it is. Hmm, it's a great book. Let's see. I really ought to make something out of this sometime. Yeah. Huh? But not today. Huh. Mm. You can look at it. I've got to go rake leaves. I'll see you later. Let's go. Come on. Oh, let's see. Let's see here. Let's see index. Let's see. Yeah. Um, pancakes, peppers, uh, pomegranates. Uh, here it is. Pumpkin. Yeah. Pumpkin bread. Pumpkin cookies. Pumpkin pie. Oh, okay. Let's see. Uh, one and one half cups pumpkin. <gasps> Robbie was right. Yeah. What else is in it? Mm, one third cup milk. Milk? Doesn't that come from cows? So I've heard. Herd of cows? Of course I have heard of cows. Now, where are we going to find a herd of cows? I think a dairy farm might be a good place to look. Oh. <laughs> uh huh. Blossom, this is so exciting. I've never been to a dairy farm before. Oh, neither have I. Snappy, just look at all those cows. That sure is a lot of hamburger out there. Blossom, we are at Butcher's Dairy Farm in Sonoya, Georgia. These cows are here to be milked, not turned into hamburger. Oh, I see. Well, that's a lot of milk then, because there sure are a lot of cows. There certainly are. I wonder how many are here. I don't know. We could start by estimating how oh, many cows are sticking their idea. heads out there. I <laughs> estimate that there are 10 cows sticking their heads out. Mm, I'd estimate 15. Oh, let's count. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 14. 10, 14 cows. Your estimate was closer. Mm. Well, if that's a group of 14 cows, uh -huh. then... Let's see how many other groups we can see. Let's see, I see some groups over there. Two, and, and, three, and they look about the four, same size. And, five, oh, oh, and Blossom, there's some back here behind us. Wow. Over there, see? Mm -hmm. oh, there, well, there, I see about 20 groups. Yeah, about mm. 20 groups of 15 cows. Wow, that's about 300 cows. That's something. And look, wow. they're all eating. Yeah, I told you cows were smart. Yeah, they eat even more than you do. You know what? They even eat more when it gets colder. Oh, really? Why is that? Because eating keeps you warm. Oh. Oh, Blossom, I have an idea. What? Why don't we go ask and find out how many cows they actually do have here? And how here. much they eat. Yes. Good idea. Let's go. Blossom, I asked Kirk Butcher, the son of the owner, how many cows they have. Yeah? He said they have 300 Holstein cows on this dairy yeah, farm. Yeah, and his brother Andy told me that each cow eats about 100 pounds of food a day. Well, that's a lot. And they sure are pretty with their black and white spots. Yeah, that's how you can tell they're Holsteins. You know what, though, Snappy? But... No two cows are exactly alike. Oh, that's a good point. They have mm -hmm. irregular shapes yeah. on their backs. Yeah, kind of like clouds. Oh, yeah, I wonder if we could see pictures in the cows the way you can see pictures in the clouds. Oh, let's try it. Oh, good idea. Oh, look, there's the state of Ohio. Oh, oh and I see a cute little baby snail. And, and there's oh. Elvis. Elvis, where? Hey, hey, look over there, Snappy. Uh, oh. You see that cow that has kind of the oval-shaped spot on it? Oh, yeah. It's kind of shaped like my head. Hmm. I wonder if it's as big around as your head. We could measure the perimeter and find out. You mean measure around the outside? Yeah, let's get Digit to help us. Oh, good idea. He kind of matches the cows. Good point. Digit! 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 I wonder if Digit is finished. Hey, Digit, are you finished? Wow, 24 inches. 24? I mm. wonder if that is bigger than my head. No, I'd say your head is much bigger. We'll have to get Digit to measure. Digit, come back. Digit, measure my head. Wow, 19 inches. 
See, my head is smaller than that spot on the cow. You had me fooled, Snappy. Hey, Blossom, let's go watch him milk cows. Yeah, come on. Blossom, I've never seen a cow milk before. That was fascinating. And fast. It only takes about five minutes. Or ten minutes at the most. And did you know that each cow gives an average of 60 pounds of milk a day? Oh, wow. No wonder they eat so much. <laughs> and they're at it again. Mm. Hey, hey, hmm? Snappy, where do you think the milk goes from here? Oh, I don't know. Oh, look. There's a milk truck uh, over there. Oh, 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 hey, wait. Wait for us. Wait. Oh. Let's go see. Well, Why, What's she doing now? Oh, Snappy, she's taking final measurements for the curtains. <gasps> oh, and she's using this fabric. Yes, oh. yes Snappy, our fate is polyester leopard skin. Oh! oh. That'd be great. Okay, well, I've all ready to sew. I'll be heading upstairs in case you two need any, uh, no. anything. Uh, what are these jugs here? And what is this, milk? Oh, uh, well, um, uh, uh, Snappy and I were doing math. That's yes, right. that's right, we were doing math. And uh, you see, we found out that cows give a lot of milk over the course of a day. And, uh, well, sometimes it's measured in pints, and sometimes you measure it in gallons. And, well, uh, we were just kind of wondering um, how many pints are in a gallon. And, well, uh, oh, look, like... Robbie, look at this tic-tac-toe game. Isn't it cute? Come on oh, and play yeah, it with me. Here. I'm using a pint measuring cup so things will go faster. This pint measuring cup holds two standard cups. Digit, how many pints do we have in the milk jug already? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, pour in that other pint, and let's see if it fills up the jug. Be careful now, we don't want to spill the milk. Maybe this eighth pint will fill up the milk jug. And look, it does, eight pints. Let's see, if I move this one here, that means I won. You I won! won! Oh. oh, oh no! Oh, what a shame! Oh. This fabric isn't washable. Oh! Oh, Pity. now I don't have enough left to make curtains. Oh, oh too bad. Well, mm. I, I do have enough left for a pantsuit, though. Mm. It's okay, though. You know what? I'll find some fabric that we like just as much for curtains. Well, oh. Robbie, I, I don't know if that will be possible. <gasps> There's no use crying over spilt milk. Yeah. Well, I'm going to go in the attic and see what I can find. I'll see you later. Okay, you do that. Yes! Yeah! Oh, no! no Leopard skin no curtains! Sir, Yay! No <laughs> Whoa, boy. Eight beautiful pints to every gallon. That's hmm. true. Have you ever wondered where all that milk goes? Yeah, it goes to the store in gallon jugs. No, no, Snappy. First of hmm? all, it has to go to a dairy plant. Ooh, a dairy plant? Is that what cows eat? So this is where that truck was going. Yeah, this is the same truck we saw at Butcher Dairy Farm. And here it is at Kennett Dairy Plant in Columbus, Georgia. Yeah. Boy, this sure is a big one. Oh, Blossom. What? Do you know how much milk a truck like this can hold? How much? Well, this truck holds about the same amount of milk as it would take to fill a small swimming pool. Wow! You know what I heard, Snappy? What? I heard it takes about 45 minutes to pump one of these babies out. That's right. Yeah, so why don't they get started already? Oh, well, before they can unload the truck, they have to give the milk a test. Oh, oh, you mean like a spelling test? I love spelling tests. Well, it's more like a math test. <laughs> Wait a minute. Milk taking a math test? <laughs> this I gotta see. Oh, well, let's go. Digit. Oh, Digit. Digit! Digit, digit. Uh, digit, you can't come with us. They don't have a hat big enough yeah. to fit you. We'll see you on our way back. Yeah, come on. So they bring the samples of milk from the truck into this lab. Then what happens? Well, Deborah tests the milk to make sure there are no drugs or germs in it. Aha! A mathematical test to make sure there's nothing in that milk but milk. That's right. And Deborah uses a different vial of milk 
for each test. That way she's certain that everything stays clean and accurate. That's right. Whoa, all those vials. How does she keep track of it all? Oh, well, Deborah uses computers and technology to help her keep track. And she does her paperwork. Look, mm -hmm. look at her doing the chart there. Let's you know see. what, Snappy? What? We should probably get out of her way. Oh, you're right. Thanks, Deborah. Thank you. You're welcome. Blossom, this is where the milk is pasteurized. Well, it might get past my eyes, but it'll never get past this nose. <laughs> oh, no, Blossom. I mean, they pasteurize the milk here. I know that. It arrives at the dairy plant at 35 degrees Fahrenheit. That's pretty cold. And uh -huh. then they heat it up, up, up to 172 degrees. Yep. And they keep it hot for 26 seconds, then uh -huh. blammo! They cool it down really fast to 30 degrees. Wait a minute, Snappy. 30 yep. degrees is two degrees below freezing. That's true. So, how come we don't have ice cream here? Well, the milk doesn't freeze because it's moving fast, like a mountain stream. It is moving fast. Yep. Where do you suppose it's going? Well, uh, well let's go find out. Okay. So, Snappy, this is the half-pint filler. What's it do? Well, the empty cartons come in down there, uh -huh. the machine seals the bottom of each carton, fills it up, and then closes and seals the top. Well, Blossom, you want to know something? What? This machine can fill 160 half-pints every minute. Wow! I wonder how many that is per second. Hmm. hmm. Well... Now, wait a minute, Snappy. I bought a half pint of milk from a vending machine two days ago, and it didn't look at all like those. Oh. Mine was shorter and fatter. Oh, well, that's what they call a squat carton. Oh. These are slim cartons. These are the kind of cartons they send to school. Snappy, let's take some milk to a school. Well, all right. How many can you carry? I think I can carry, hmm, one. I think I can carry three. Hmm. Well, that's not enough for a whole Oh, I know, school. Blossom. Why don't what? we find out how they do it here? Great idea! Come All on! Right. Mmm, chocolate. Do they have vanilla? You see, when these people send milk to schools, they pack it in cases. That way they can carry more. That's right. Each one of those cases holds 50 slim one-half pint cartons. I wonder how many pints that is. Hmm. I wonder how many quarts that is. I wonder how many gallons that is. Hmm. I wonder how many cows worth that is. Oh, Blossom, wait a minute. When we were at the dairy farm, they measured the milk in pounds. That's right. Well, I always heard, a pint's a pound the world around. Ooh, I like that. A pint's a pound the world around. Oh, Blossom, we could test that by weighing and measuring a pint of milk. Hmm. I'd rather drink a pint of milk. No, I don't think I could drink a whole pint of milk. Mmm, delicious. Uh, Snappy, are, are, are you gonna finish that? Maybe. Oh, uh, no, no, really, uh, no, Snappy, really, uh, I'd be glad to give you a hand with it. Blossom, you don't look very well. Oh, she drank too much milk. Sugar. Uh, See? Hey, what are these silly hats on your heads? Uh, what? What hats? Uh, Listen, I have a surprise for you. Oh, well, what is it? It's Gallon Gal. Oh. You see, you were asking about gallons. Yeah. Well, her body's the size of a gallon, mm -hmm. and her arms, legs, fingers, and toes are what make up a gallon. Mm -hmm. Oh, very nice. I think I'll leave her here for you. Let's oh, see, I can move you. this. Wonderful. Blossom, she's and moving the painting. Oh, with this. Yes. This is a good thing. Uh, here. Yeah. There you go. Uh, oh, thank you. That's you know very what? nice. Very colorful. I'll take this upstairs. Uh, I'll probably finish it if it's upstairs. Uh, oh, dear. Blossom, what? are we going to make pumpkin pie Oh, now? Snappy, don't talk about food. Oh, not now. Oh. oh, I'm sorry. You know something? I really do like Gallon Gal. <laughs> she moves me. <laughs> no. 
Oh, sorry.